what's up guys welcome back to my channel so today is going to be a video about all about prom all about prom because prom is coming up and i think i want to give you guys some prom tips since i went to prom last year as a senior in high school and i graduated so now i have prom experience and i want to tell you guys a little prom i want to give you guys prom tips on little tips that you should know before heading to prom and all that great stuff. So let's just get right into the video. So since prom is coming up, I just wanna give you guys a few tips, my experience, and I wanna give you guys my experience on how these tips I followed when I was looking for like the perfect dress, the makeup, the hair, just things you should know. Just tips for girls, basically, on what you should do for prom. So, basically, my prom was last year. My senior prom was last year. And it was pretty fun. I hung out with my friends and everything. So now, I'm gonna tell you guys some prom secrets. And by the way, my hair is short now. I'm going with the short do. I kind of like it, it's more natural looking. Tip number one, your dress should be long. Now, I know a lot of people don't really like to wear long dresses and some people do. I just prefer long dresses are really more elegant and classy than short dresses, that's just my opinion. Because it's just, I feel like it's a fashion code, like every prom dress should be long. Prom tip number two, avoid strapless dresses. Now this is my thing, I I kind of wore, no I didn't wear a strapless dress actually, I'll actually show you guys a picture. Yeah, my dress was actually blue and it wasn't strapped, it was just very elegant and it was backless in the back. It's like when you're dancing, and stuff and like you're dancing and then what if like it just falls and it would just, it just would not be a good time because everybody will see your boobs and it's just not really that not a good thing to wear a strapless dress especially for those girls who has more of, of bigger breasts I don't really have big breasts so me wearing a strapless dress wouldn't really matter because I'm pretty sure it wouldn't fall down but I'm sh pretty sure people who have big boobs would it would probably fall down tip number three don't carry big purses because basically you're you're gonna be dancing you're gonna be walking you're gonna be just having a great time and you just don't want a big purse to be carrying around with you and you know small purses are the best bet tip number five actually this is five um you don't need a date you really don't need a date just to go to prom so if you're just sitting around in your house being sad that you don't have a date to prom don't worry about it because me personally i didn't have a date for prom so i really it didn't i had a lot of fun so with i had a lot more fun with my friends than if i was if i had a date so you being sad about not having a date to prom it's okay you don't need a date you can have more fun with just your friends there will be alcohol check they will check you if you have alcohol because i don't know i don't know prom do this but my prom did they they didn't want us smoking drugs or alcohol mm -mm. they don't want they didn't want none of that inside of the the dance floor like the prom where we're having prom they didn't want that inside the building not once so they will literally check you if you don't if you have alcohol and if you have alcohol they're literally kick you out of prom and if you're a senior you wouldn't be graduating you don't have to get it on on prom night but my get it on means have intercourse everybody says that prom like you go to prom with your boyfriend you guys are all planning oh we're do you wanna you know we're in the hotel room and you know do to do you know so basically you don't have to do that everybody thinks just because you have a date to prom you guys are automatically gonna get it on no you don't need to. another tip is if you guys are actually if you and your boyfriend are actually planning on you know doing the do make sure he wears a condom yeah there's no point 
in you getting a disease or getting pregnant before there's no point because you guys are too young too young to be having a kid it's just it's not it's not the best bet to have that like yeah your boyfriend probably won't have like a disease because you've probably been with him for like i don't know six years but just be on the safe side just make sure you guys you know what do you i'm trying to figure out what to call it wrap the sausage up basically tip number okay i don't i'm just gonna stop with the numbers i'm just gonna keep giving you guys tips another tip is keep dancing classy so this is prom not a nightclub so dance like a lady not like a drunk person basically basically what i'm saying is this is prom dance like yeah you're supposed to have fun you can like you know have fun but don't go all crazy where you to the point where like you you're you leave and you leave prom not looking how you looked when you went inside prom prom night and then your mom's gonna be like what happened to you because that's exactly what my mom said to me because my my hair was kind of a little messed up because i was wearing like a little um thing on my head so when i got home my hair was just a crazy mess and my mom's like wow you had fun and i'm like yeah i did another good tip is if you guys are gonna wear high heels to prom because i'm pretty sure a lot of girls are because you know it's prom why wouldn't you wear high heels but if you guys are gonna wear high heels i i would suggest bringing like another extra pair of flats or shoes just in case like you get really tired from dancing in the high heels you'll have extra shoes to change into because i know i did that i had actually no i didn't actually i didn't bring no extra shoes but my friend did and she was smart because she did so i didn't so basically i just took off my shoes and just went barefoot i mean i wasn't the only person don't look at me crazy i i wasn't the only one who did that it was a lot of girls who went barefoot because towards the end of the night my my foot was killing me and then i woke up with this blister in the back of my heels hair done i mean everybody i'm pretty sure everybody's gonna get their hair done but my tip is get your hair done i got my hair done i wore extensions so my hair was like banging it was banging get your hair professionally done because you want your hair to look really good in pictures it's just my best bet don't get your prom dress at the last minute because i did that even though yeah i got my no i got my prom yeah i got my prom dress i think three days before prom and you, sh you guys shouldn't do that i did that but at the same time i found a perfect dress for me so it was great and then they altered it like the day i left when i bought it they altered it because i'm a little too short and it was actually a little too long for me so i had to make it shorter so they altered it so i had to i left they altered it that same day and then the next day i came back and i picked it up and then yeah it all worked out well for me but my best bet is really don't get your prom dress at the last minute if you your friends or if you and your group of friends are deciding to ride a limo to prom, my best bet is to make sure everyone splits the limo price because you don't want to be the only one buying the limo and it's just not fair and then everybody else is going to be riding in it. I'm just like, no, you pay for it too. We're all going to do it together. You guys can get a party bus. Party buses are really fun. I feel like party buses are better than limos because you get to dance, get the turn up ready before you hit the prom. And y'all will be extra turned up for the night. Yes. You don't have, like what I did, you don't have to get a limo or a party bus. People think just because it's prom, you you automatically think, oh, oh it's prom, we have to get a limo. It's just a prom to tradition. No, it's not a prom to tra tra tradition. You don't have to get a limo. You can just pick up your friends in the car and then boom, let's go. We're heading to prom. Let's go. Let's do this. Word pictures with a real camera because i don't know i i actually took pictures with my phone because i didn't really own a real camera until now so now i have a good camera well right now i'm using my iphone to record because i need a camera just my um phone to take pictures at prom but then my friend's mom had a real camera and we took we went to like i think babel Abel Park and then we took like good quality pictures so um yeah this is the picture
we were at Balboa Park when we took this. So, tip is don't be a wallflower. If you guys know what a wallflower is, it's like, okay, say your friend, like, okay, don't be a wallflower. Just because you don't have a date to prom doesn't mean you just sit there and be depressed about it. Just grab a friend, get up, and dance. Like, I didn't have a date, and I danced. Um, I, I had so much fun with my friends. So we just danced, party. It was great. It was just so much fun. So just don't be a wallflower. It's just, it just you won't have a good night, and then you go home and be like, wow all i did was sit i should have just danced with my friends yeah you should have done that when you guys because i'm pretty sure everybody goes out to dinner before prom or after prom they go out to dinner but i'm pretty sure i went out to dinner before um before prom so my best bet is that you bring a jacket to eat in so like i didn't do this but i made i put like a little you know cloth on me oh my god oh my god it's like doing the same shit Close. I need to turn off my um my notifications because it's totally messing up my video. Yes, bring a jacket because you want to bring something where you can eat in. Like, cause you don't want to mess up your you don't want to stain your dress while you're eating. But I didn't do that, so I um I put a cloth over my um my clothes so I made sure I wouldn't stain it. And I ate really slow because I didn't want to drop in all my stuff because I've it will be really devastating, especially if you're wearing a white dress or anything, or anything that's a light color dress. You're eating, and then you drop something saucy on your dress. I would have been so freaking pissed and devastated all at once. You don't know how, I, how much. But luckily, that didn't happen to me. This is a very, very, very last tip. Live in the moment, basically. That's all I have to tell you guys. Just live in the moment. You live calm once turn up like just celebrate that you're finally done with senior year you can finally be free you guys free hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope these tips will help you when you guys go to prom because i'm pretty sure prom is approaching for some of you guys very soon or it's already starting but i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys